is another crisis brewing. Record debt, high interest rate, the cost of climate change, health and pension spending as population age and fractious politics are stoking fears of a financial market crisis in big developed economies. The surge in government borrowing costs has put high debt in the spotlight, with investors demanding increased compensation for long, for hold long-term bonds and policymakers urging cautions on public finances. Over 80% of the $10 trillion rise in global debt in the first half to a record $307 trillion came from developed economies, the Institute of National Finance says. The United States, where brinkmanship around the debt limit brought it close to a default, Italy and Britain are of most concern. More than 20 prominent economists, former policymakers and big investors told Reuters. They do not expect the developed economy to struggle paying debt, but say government must deliver credible fiscal plans, raise taxes and boost growth to keep finances manageable. Heightened geopolitical tension and add to costs, a fragile environment with higher rates and shrinking central bank support raises the risk of a policy misstep sparking a market route, as shown by Britain's 2022 mini-budget crisis. Peter Pride, former chief economist at the ECB, said that uh, while debt still appears sustainable, the outlook is worrying given long-term spending needs. You can take many, many countries today and you will see that we are not far away from a political, public, public finance crisis, said Pride, who joined the ECB during 2011's debt crisis. If you have an accident or a combination of events, then you go into an adv adverse non-linear dynamic sort of process. That is something which is a real possibility. High funding needs and central banks removing support are increasing prices uncertainty for investors, Sophia Drossos, hedge fund point seventy two asset management chief economist said. Deficit and debt levels make us uncomfortable, said Daniel Invaskin, chief investment officer at bond giant PIMCO, which is a little bit reluctant to own long-term bond. Now, spending plans lacking credibility were seen as most likely to spark market turmoil. Long-term government debt trajectories pose the biggest threat to macroeconomic and financial stability, said Claudio Borio, head of the Bank of International Settlement Monetary and Economic Department. Tipping point. Budget wrangling has hurt U.S. credibility, costing it a top-notch AAA rating. Olivia Blankert, senior fellow at the Peterson Institute for International Economics, was most worried about the United States given a broken political budget process and large primary deficit. How does it end? I suspect not by default, but when markets start reflecting their wars and treasury prices by a political crisis and a potentially ugly adjustment, the former IMF chief economist said, hedge fund bridge uh, water associate Ray Dalio expects a U.S. debt crisis. A U.S. Treasury spokesperson heightened, highlighted our Secretary Janet Yellen's recent comment on the budget deficit and rising rates. Yellen told the Wall Street Journal last week the government was committed to a sustainable fiscal policy and the budget could be adjusted to ensure that. Italy's 2.4 trillion euro debt pile is the focus in Europe where the IMF has said high debt leaves governments vulnerable to crisis. Its debt risk premium jumped this month as it cut growth and hiked budget deficit forecasts. Scope rating warned Italy could be ineligible for its crucial ECB bond buying scheme. A tipping point is Italy's potential to lose investment grade ratings. Moody's rates it one notch above junk with a negative outlook. Rome's debt ratio rising again would make a downgrade more likely. There is significant ramification for Southern Europe, said M&G Investment Jim Levis. Economy Minister Giacarlo Giorgetti said he did not fear a downgrade but could not rule it out. The ministry declined to comment for this story. Moody's reviews Italy in November. Low growth has kept Italian debt high, a risk across Europe and Britain where belt tightening plans will depress public investment. If we don't have a brighter growth outlook in Europe, then the math of debt sustainability looks quite poor, said PGIM Fixed Income Chief Global Economist Dalip Singh, former advisor to U.S. President Joe Biden. Britain's Treasury said it was on track to reduce debt and growing the economy with major reforms. Debt is near or higher than 100% of our output in Britain, the United States and Italy. Aging population, climate change and geopolitical risks such as uh, the situation in Ukraine and the Middle East mean significant spending pressure ahead. Interest payments surging with higher rates add to the pressure as well. U.S. net interest payment will rise from 2.5% to 3.6% of GDP by 2033 and 6.7% by 2053, the Congressional Budget Office estimates. But Yellen's preferred measure, adjusting for inflation, suggests payment below 1% of GDP for the rest of this decade. Britain's Office for Budget responsibly expects interest costs to rise to 7.8% of revenues by 2027 to 2028 from 3.1% in 2020 to 2021, exacerbated by inflation-linked debt. 
Even Germany's interest spending is up tenfold since 2021 to nearly 40 billion euros. A crisis is unlikely, but budget planning would face major challenges, the Supreme Audit Institution said. Act now. Efficient spending, reforms and growth plans are key. We need more investment, not less, said King's College London Professor Jonathan Ports, Britain's Cabinet Office Chief Economist during the financial crisis. Borrowing is a harder sell at higher rates, so governments need credible plans. The EU is revising its fiscal rules. Britain's opposition Labour Party promises to legally require OBR reviews of tax and spending plans. While unpalatable taxes need to, be ri to rise, particularly in the United States and Britain, and some spending cuts are inevitable, economists stress. Not enough reforms are being implemented, OECD Chief Economist Claire Lombardelli warned. Delays will hurt government's ability to uh, address future shocks. If we just trundle along as we have right now, we will see a crisis in the next decade, said uh, LBBW Chief Economist Moritz Kramer, who oversaw S&P's European sovereign downgrade in 2011.